hi welcome back to my channel my name is Ina and today I will tell you how to keep your plants well or how I intend to keep my plants well while I'm traveling I won't be away only for a week it'll be for three weeks and a half which can be quite tricky but hopefully they will survive so if you're interested in this subject if you're going somewhere this summer as well and that you're curious about how to keep your plants doing well and alive while you're away, then this video may well give you some tricks and some tips. Some of my plants, the ones that were by the window, they are here on this table. Basically, the window needs to be fixed, but that's not the only reason they will return to the window soon. I decided to keep them here. I have plants spread in my living room everywhere because I need to spray them for pests. So the first thing that I'm doing before I go away is to make sure that the, these the orchids that were not doing so well, the ones that need to be reported immediately because they are very stressed, these ones I need to address. So if you have plants that needs to be reported immediately, that's something that you need to do before you go away because if they're not being hydrated properly, they have more chance of dying. So that's the first thing I've already reported a few of them, I will report more. The second thing is, if you leave your plants with pests, insects that are munching on them, and your house is closed and you are away, what will probably happen is, the amount of insects that we will encounter when you come back, it's gonna be like a, you're gonna have a huge infestation. I'm sure about that because I traveled for two weeks last year and when I returned, some thrips, they just multiplicated and they attacked more plants. So I will be a month away. I need to make sure that I spray all of my plants. So that's the second thing. I need to make sure that these plants are clean because otherwise they can be heavenly affected by insects. So taking good care of the pests that you have in your collection is a must before you go away. So I haven't placed them back in the, by the window yet because I need to water them very well and also I need to spray all of them. Dress orchids that are stressed, address sad orchids, address pests. And then what I'm gonna do to try to keep most of them alive, I have a few other things that I need to change. One of them is lighting, so I need to, to change the lighting in my living room. I have problems the lighting are not adequate, they are not turning on and off automatically, so all of these I need to address because I won't be here and the light there is not good, so here is a, the brightest spot in my house, but in my living room it's not. I'll take you along. I don't know if I have already published that video or if this video came first, but anyway, you will see me installing the new lighting, the new bulbs and how I will do about it. I also bought a watering system for indoor plants to keep some of them hydrated while I'm away. I intend to place this watering system in the Oncidians because these are the thirst tier orchids. I will also do that on camera, so keep tuned for that. And then another thing that is really, really important is to give a good watering to your plants before you go away. So water it very well. If you're going for two weeks, I'm sure they will be fine. They will survive. Only if they have an underlying issue that's gonna be a problem, but otherwise they will be okay. Be careful with extreme sunlight, extreme heat, all the things in your house that you know that you need to change or that will be better for your plants, I would advise you to do it. And the last thing that you should do is to ask a friend or maybe family if you have one that you trust <laughs> that maybe can come and water for you once, especially if you're going for a very long time like I am for a month. I asked someone from my family to come and give a little bit of pour a little bit of water in, in some of the plants because otherwise I don't think they will all survive, especially the stressed ones. But that's all, that's about it. I think if you keep your plants hydrated, if you pay attention to where you have lighting and address the pest issues and pot your plant, the stressed plants in an adequate medium, everything should be fine, they should survive. <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult than when you don't have plants, for sure, because you need to have time to water all of them, spray all of them, make sure they are all potted up correctly and on, under the right lighting um, so everything around that watering and lighting they are both very important for your plant but if you have that most likely they will survive they are very tough creatures 
if they don't, if you lose one plant or two, it happens. It happened to me last year. I lost in Masdevalia, but Masdevalias are not very tough though. What I'm gonna do now, I will start spraying them and placing them back in their old spots. I will also deep clean everything. I'll film a little bit for you. Probably have seen some of the, the scenes before. If you have any questions about it, if you want an update when I return from my holidays. Oh, and by the way, before you leave, I'm going to Brazil. Finally, it's been four years that I don't go back home. It's been <laughs> very hard for me. I can imagine it's like a big thing. So I'll be there for a month. I'll make sure to film the Atlantic Forest, film plants, and see if I find any orchid, nature, then I'll definitely film for you. And uh, I intend to go to an orchid nursery there. It's not gonna be a big one. It's gonna be from the mountains where is my hometown is. But I'll definitely film for you. If you have any questions about plants in Brazil or if there is anything that you wanna see specifically there, leave a comment down below. I will respond to you and maybe I can also create another video about it. But I definitely intend to film many things for you. Let's see if I have time as well, because anyway, you probably imagine four years without seeing my family and everything, so it's gonna be a huge thing. Um, but my plants, hopefully they will survive. I will definitely update you when I'm returning. And now let's move them back, let's water them, let's spray them. If you're curious about what I'm gonna do, I have some oils, pesticides, I'm not really worried, I don't have many Phalaenopsis here, but the Phalaenopsis I will definitely need if I'm only... I have aphids here, so that's why I'm spraying these buds. They came through my window. I have, yeah, pests, 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 pests. I will have some blooms while I'm away. Anyway, I will miss them. It's fine, it's fine. I can wait next year. I will probably have some more buds and blooms. These oxygens sometimes they bloom more than once a year for me. I'm super okay with that. What I'm not okay with is having pests eating and munching all of them. That's I'm not okay. So that's what I'll keep doing that. I'll keep spraying everything. I'll keep inspecting everything, I'll clean with the place where they are, where, where they are located, and that's it! I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, it helps me a lot, I hope to see you soon, bye bye!